The SN1 mechanism proceeds through or via a carbocation intermediate. A carbocation is just a compound that has a carbon atom with a full positive charge, not a partial positive charge, but a full positive charge. And as a refresher, the SN1 mechanism is a substitution reaction in which we are doing the substitution with a nucleophile, so this is nucleophilic. And the one stands for first order kinetics, or we'll remember that as one molecule falls apart in the first step of the SN1 reaction, we have one molecule falling apart. The leaving group spontaneously comes off of the molecule and it leaves us with the carbocation. Now, because this first step of the reaction relies completely on the formation of a carbocation, one of the things that we have to take into consideration is how stable is this carbocation that we are forming? The reaction is not likely to proceed if we are attempting to form a carbocation that is unstable. We have already talked about the stability of the carbocations in, in that you learned the trend. Actually, we're going to start on this side. The more things that you have attached to a carbocation, the more stable it is. So a carbocation with no hydrogens on it is the most stable of all of the carbocations. And that is going to be followed by a carbocation that has one hydrogen and two alkyl groups, a secondary carbocation. And that will be followed by a carbocation that has two hydrogens one alkyl group. And then last but not least, our least stable is a carbocation with only hydrogens on it. This is called the methyl carbocation. So this guy is the least stable of all of the carbocations. And so we can make some generalization by looking at the stability of our carbocations we can use that to make some generalizations about the ease at which the, the different molecules can undergo the first step of the reaction, forming that cation. Since the tertiary is the most stable out of all of the carbocations, then a molecule that has a leaving group on the carbon atom with no hydrogens on it at all, because it forms the most stable, intermediate, this will be the fastest to react by the SN1 mechanism. That leaving group can fall right off, can leave us with a nice carbocation. It's very easy for, for this type of molecule to undergo the first step. If we have two alkyl groups and one hydrogen, and then we've got a leaving group on here, that leaving group can fall off pretty easily as well and form a nice secondary carbocation. And so again, this reacts well. The other two types of carbocations are pretty unstable. So a primary carbocation and a methyl carbocation, they are very unstable. And this means that they are extremely slow to react. by the SN1 mechanism. And because they react so slowly, we oftentimes just uh, generalize that to say that they do not react by SN1. And this, what I'm writing here, even though originally I attached this least stable only to the methyl guy, this statement applies to both of these types of molecules. So we only have secondary and tertiary molecules that are capable of doing the SN1 reaction. And we do not see the reaction taking place for methyl or primary molecules.